Junkton Pool over here in Portville. Well, my truck for the last four days, except for today, I've had to put it on the charger for a couple hours. The battery was dead. So we went out and bought a new one yesterday. Actually, we couldn't take this truck. It was on the charger. So we got the old Chevy fired up and took that. But one day, had an appointment. This didn't start. And I knew this one wouldn't start. It had a bad battery, but the $500 dump truck started. It was out of gas. And I had about 15 minutes to be on my way, so stole the battery out of that, stuck it in the Chevy, which had some gas in it, and we made it. But anyway, so we've been putting this on the charger the last three or four days. There's the battery, it's in there. It's uh, 680 cold cranking amp. I wanted to keep this because I'm going to try to re, re uh, get it going, re jive it, or whatever they call it. So I got a 730. We called around a bunch of places and end up getting this one for uh, 129.99. That was the cheapest we could find. 30 month warranty. So I'm just finished putting it in here. Of course, being from Portville, my first instinct, I did already tighten that bottom one with the extension. But my first instinct was to, uh, then I put the security bolt, get the bungee strap out. And not put all this stuff back in there. I remember losing a battery when I was a youngster, going down the trails with a car and it got into the fan. Can you imagine that? That happened a couple of times. Oops. Yeah, I was thought about finding another another battery and I thought I better put a new one in it because I got this truck so I didn't have to work on it. And it's like anything you gotta work on them. Especially this has got over two hundred thousand on it, but I'm thinking about selling it. I like the truck the way it drives and everything, but I'd like to find something better on gas. I believe I got them all tight. So, everybody been eating a lot of leftover turkeys or ham or what have you? That's what we've been doing. Pie and all the good stuff. I like my crates, I can stand on them and Yeah, I stuck it in here yesterday, and I wanted to make sure that, there's my toolbox, got that taken care of. I wanted to make sure that I didn't have some kind of a draw that I was messing out on. Not sure how they put out that battery, but that's the same kind I got in there now. Just to put a little bigger one in, they had one about this size for 10 bucks cheaper. I just figured I'd get a little bit more cold cranking amp, and hopefully I'll never have to change it. So before it got cold out, I attempted to put a charge in this one. I think it might have took a charge. Uh, I think that's my old bolos that I had. And I put the charger on a couple of these. So I've been jumping the charger around. I got a couple more in there. Of course, you can't charge them when they're froze. So. Got snow there, Don. I want to try to get this truck in the garage. I'm thinking about it. Of course, I cut the brake line trying to cut something on it. Had good brakes on it. I'm not sure about that body. 
I definitely need to get the hydraulics fixed. Figure out where my leak is at, where it's uh, still on that truck. I don't want to take it off and then put it on another truck and have some issue that I can't get fixed. Here we go. Tire pressure gauge. Now the engine light went off. And I was looking on the computer and they're saying uh, they're saying sometimes if you got a weak battery your engine light will be on. So that's the seat belt light and the one's the airbag. I took it back when I first bought it under recall, but they said that that ain't what they were fixing that light there. So I think it's the sensors under the bumper. And I'm trying to decide if I'm going to keep this or sell it. It's an alright truck, but I don't know. So apparently it's going to start now. I don't like all these lights. I'm kind of like, um, like the, if it gets low on gas and the light comes on telling you that, I can look down at the gauge. <laughs> That's just more stuff to go wrong as far as I'm concerned, but I'm, I'm kind of old school. I just like the basic, like this doesn't have no, um, power windows. I like that. We got snow over here in Poorville. It's coming down pretty good. I got some inside work to do today. Picking away a few different things we got we're in the middle of. What is the temperature gauge in this thing? Yeah, temperature gauges. I just started it. So that a battery, I don't know if I already said that or not, but it's good. It's got a 30 month warranty on it. Yeah, the Kmart was, what was it, one, one uh, 39, and that was for the 630 cold cranking amp, and the farm store was 129 for a hundred or a. Yeah, the 600 and I think it was what did I say 673 or or six or 730. I'll be all right, maybe. So yeah, that's cool. I hope I don't have to worry about that no more. So the battery is a $15 core charge. I thought about taking them this one. I tried to pry the caps off this to see if there was water in there, and apparently I didn't. It, this was a junk battery. It seemed like Don would put his hat on there. Keeping cool, Bonnie. Anyway, yeah, so I took this hose off, it's right there, and I'm trying to figure out how to get that back on now. I, it, uh, you got to turn the whole hose, and it gets, there's nothing, not enough room to hold on to up there, so I got it wired so it don't fall through, and because I thought the hoses were bad. And I gotta put it all back together and figure out where the leak's coming from now as far as all the hoses go. So I got that thing wired in there. Yeah, 
Yeah, this thing fired right up. Actually, it run pretty good. But when I was messing around with this, grinding, trying to get something I was trying to grind off of here that was in the way. I end up cutting the brake line. Which at the time, I didn't care. So I'm in the process of trying to figure out where these hoses go and everything. It's a little cold out here in the fingers. Burr. I just thought I'd do a video. Hope everybody had a good Thanksgiving and I'll be like me. Eat more than I should be. I should speak for myself, I guess. We're trying. I know Christmas is right around the corner, so got to start making room. Well, thanks for stopping by. Stay warm. Goodbye.